So it's almost the end of 2024. And as usually happens during the holiday season, I start to reminisce about the year and just different things that have happened. So that's no different when it comes to my guitar playing and my pedal board. I've just been thinking about some of the choices I've made, some of the pedals I've acquired this year, and what I really want to achieve in 2025. I've kind of started experimenting with some changes, trying to think of new different things that will inspire me in the year to come and kind of get out of my comfort zone a little bit with some of the things that I'm used to and some of the pedals that I've just been using for years and years. I'll have some more videos down the line going into more detail about some of those changes. But for today, we're just gonna be talking about one pedal and I really wanna talk about what it is, how I'm using it and why I even got it. I am a pedal nerd and I like the conversation. So if you wanna stick around for that, please do. Otherwise you can skip ahead using the chapter markers for the sound samples themselves. So what pedal are we talking about? Well, that is going to be the Mustang from Lauren Audio. Now this pedal for me really is gonna signify a change in philosophy that I have never really done. It's quite common in guitar playing, but not for me, but we'll get there. First, let's talk about what this pedal is. On their site, Lauren Audio describes this as an overdrive based on one of the most famous recording channels ever, and that is the Neve 1073. They've even gone as far to say that they've spec the transistors in this to the original Neve document, and so what you're getting is a true recreation of that channel. Now the controls are quite simple. There's only a level, tone, and gain. Pretty standard as far as pedals goes, but what's really interesting, and we'll see this when we get to the sound samples, is this tone knob. So you would think that it's a, just a brighter or darker kind of shoving off frequencies, but it's really not. What I've found with the tone knob and what's most interesting to me is that actually as we increase it, the harmonic content starts to change and it's not really a brighter or darker type of thing like you would see in a normal tone knob. And then as we decrease the tone knob, it actually gets really smooth like what you would expect in a studio preamp. So as you can imagine, this thing is designed to either run it as an overdrive or really a studio preamp that's really clean and just enhancing your sound. There is an internal trim pot that they have that will either increase or decrease the headroom you have and so that'll affect your gain and your tone as you start to play with the knobs. However, for the sake of this video, I've just left it at the default as it came from the factory. Now let's talk about why I got this thing. So do I need another overdrive? Absolutely yes, the answer is always yes. However, that is not the reason why I got it. Full transparency, I've never actually heard, in person anyway, a real 10, Neve 1073 preamp. So I can't tell you, yes, this sounds exactly like it, or no, this is missing the mark completely. For me, that's not the point. I could not care less if it sounded like the original 1073. What I do want is a good sounding pedal and that's exactly what this is. The reason I got it is because I'm kind of changing the way I'm approaching the drive section of my board. Typically, I've just had whatever captures or modeler I'm using, in this case, Tone X's, and that's my bass tone. And then I'd turn on one drive, turn on a second drive, turn on a third drive, etc. And normally I run those separately. I don't ever stack drives. Never have, never liked the sound or just how it behaved. And so I just kind of liked having silos of drive stages. However, with this, that's where I'm changing things up because the way I plan on using this is as an always on pedal, which is not something that I've ever done. But what I've found really as I've been playing is that my normal bass tone, and this is just my fault, my normal bass tone was just, I never used it. It's not that it sounded bad or that I didn't like it. I just, for whatever reason, I'd always just start on stage one, which means I really only had two more stages of drive to go through as opposed to the three that I originally mapped out in my head. So that is part of the reason I got this and I'm gonna plan on using it as it always on because I want a bass tone with no other drive that I, that I find usable and will actually use in a live setting. So what does that mean? That means that for the first time in my guitar playing journey, I'm actually gonna be stacking some pedals. I know, very common in guitar world, but not for me. So this is brand new territory for me that I have been exploring. I'm still not going too crazy with it. I don't plan on stacking all my drives together, but any drive stage that I will be using will be stacked with the Mustang. So let's grab a guitar and see what this sounds like. 
All right, so I got the Mustang hooked up to the board here, and the settings you see are where I've been experimenting with and playing with it, and probably how I'll run it, but we'll change those so that we can see what the pedal can actually do. And just for reference, I'm using my Gretsch Sparkle Jet, and for Tonex captures, I'm using a Benson Monarch on one side and a Benson Earhart, Earhart on the other side. So now let's hear what the Mustang is doing, because it's actually not much, but here we go. Let me turn it on. So as you can probably hear or not hear, it is quite subtle, but that's the point. I want my bass tone to be usable still and something I like that I don't need to turn on other overdrives to get a good feel out of it. And I think for me, that's the biggest, one of the biggest things. There's actually two big things. The first one being is that my bass tone feels good. I feel like it's a tone that I can use without any other overdrive and I would play actual parts, whereas before it would be not common, I don't want to say rare, but I just was never reaching for my bass tone to make a part. I'd always start at stage one and then just move on from there. But this, I would play a part for this and record a part with just this bass tone. Now let's hear some of those bass examples with just the Mustang and I'll add some reverb and delay. So here is my bass tone again. Now with the Mustang. So even with reverb and delay, it's still very, very subtle. And again, I feel it when I'm playing just what it's doing to my bass tone, but it's just giving a very subtle lift. And again, that's what I'm looking for in my bass tone, just something that I can play that I like playing and I'll reach for. The second great thing that this is doing is how it stacks with my other overdrives. So every overdrive that I'll turn on, I'll just run through a couple of them, will come first and then the Mustang will actually be last. So the overdrive will feed into the Mustang. So here's the Mustang. Now with the light speed. Back to just the Mustang. And with the light speed. So the way it's breaking up is just different. It's doing something with those harmonics. There's a little more sheen to it. It's a little clearer to me in my pick attack. Here's the light speed without the Mustang. Now light speed and Mustang. Just light speed. Now with light speed and Mustang. So now let's add some reverb and delay to that. Once again, just light speed. Now light speed and Mustang. Yeah, 
yeah so that is just really nice i feel like when i take off my overdrive my bass tone is still having that mustang character there's a little break up there that's different than an overdrive and i just really like what it's doing by by itself and once it's stacked so now let's try the benson preamp this is my stage two overdrive and it's definitely got more gain of course so let's hear my bass tone once again or my ba in this case my bass tone being the mustang no benson <laughs> Now, Benson into Mustang. All right. Ooh, let's turn off reverb and delay so we can just get that. So, just Mustang. Benson and Mustang. Back to just Mustang. Benson and Mustang. So hopefully you can hear that. It's just the way it's breaking up by itself, it just wouldn't be the same without the stacking of the Mustang. And of course, that's what stacking drives does. It gives you different sounds. That's the whole point. I get that. So let's hear just the Mustang, or sorry, just the Benson by itself. Now Benson and Mustang. One more time, just Benson. Now Benson and Mustang. So yeah, that the way the Mustang is just adding that different harmonic content, the way it's just breaking up is just a little bit different and there's just a little lift there as opposed if I just had the Benton by itself. And so I'm really enjoying that sound. So the Mustang really has a lot of tones on tap. So let's play around with some of the knobs so we can really see what this can do. And we'll start with just everything at noon. Here is, I think everything's at noon. Here's my bass tone one more time. So no Mustang. Now the Mustang, everything at noon. So you can hear that is quite a difference with just everything at noon. So let's back off here just a little bit. Let's start with the tone knob. I'm going to leave the gain at noon and let's just start playing with this tone knob. So all the way down. So that's very clean. There's not a lot happening there. Maybe just a subtle lift that I'm hearing here, but that's just as described on the Lauren Audio website that if you have the tone down, my tone's not really darker. Like if I had a normal overdrive pedal like the Lightspeed and I turn the tone all the way down, your tone's gonna get very dark. But you can see here, it's all the way down and my tone's not dark. So now as we start to increase it, so you can see what it's doing. It's introducing a lot more of that harmonic content and saturation, and it's only at nine o'clock. We've barely pushed it, so let's keep going.
guys, I haven't even touched the gain knob yet. You can see this tone knob is really doing a lot of work here. It is not your traditional tone knob, and that's what I love about this pedal is that between the gain and the tone knob, you're gonna get some very different tones. So let's keep going. Go back to nine o'clock and then let's start messing with the gain knob so all the way down oh i guess you get no sound with all the way down for fun, let's add in some of that reverb and delay. So that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you got some semblance of what this thing can do. There's still a lot to explore on it and I'm still working things out on how I'm gonna run it, what overdrives I wanna stack with it and so forth. But super excited for this pedal and the folks at Lauren Audio have just made something really awesome. Something that's really inspiring me and something new. This is the first time where I'm stacking drives like this, where I'm having always on pedals. And so this pedal has just really brought something new to me that I never thought I would do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.